yogis, Carlene Rose here, and welcome to another Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're doing a respawn your arms and shoulders flow. So when we sit, you know, we tend to start doing this kind of hunching, and it starts to hurt our shoulders and our necks. So we're going to really work on opening up that area as well as opening up our chest, which tends to get really crushed and compensated when we start slouching in our seats. So our goal today is to open up all of that with some stretches and some breath work, um, as well as get some stretching in for our arms and wrists. So respawning our upper body from all of the this that tends to happen from sitting, gaming, computer, computers, uh, whatever the case may be for you. So to start, we're gonna come to a standing position. Just find a comfortable standing mountain pose and kind of rock back and forth. Uh, we're not really worried too much about, um, you know, our, our foot position, really just finding a comfortable position, grounding into the earth with our feet, lifting all the way in and up. Um, don't lock your knees, of course, just like kind of bouncing your knees. And then just inhale, reach up, and exhale, hands come to heart center at namaste. Now from here, normally we just kind of hold our hands here in the namaste position. Right now I want you to really think about pressing your hands together. So really creating that lock and creating some strength in the arm and shoulders just from pressing. So not trying to build strength here but necessarily but trying to really starting to open up the energy quickly by creating some tension, some friction. And then as you release and inhale, feeling that energy moving through your arms. So coming to Namaste, press for a few moments, gently release, inhale up, exhale, hands come to heart center. Now, as we're starting to do this breath movement, I want you to think about adding the Mula Bandha breath so inhaling in a 360 direction to fill your low belly and as you exhale, squeezing in and lifting, squeezing all of the air in and out. So out, exhaling through the nose and starting to activate all the muscles along your deep core line just from breathing. So inhaling, fill your low belly in a 360 direction. Exhale, squeeze the air in and out getting back to our movement. So inhale, exhale, pressing and maybe holding it for an inhale, exhale, inhaling and finding your own rhythm with this. We'll do one more inhale up. This time, exhale, just come to a gentle hands to heart center and namaste. Now we'll get some bigger movement going. So I want you to bend your knees as you inhale, lift up. Exhale, just bring your hand, hands down to the earth. Inhale, bend your knees, lift up. So taking some movement cues from Qigong to start getting our prana or our chi, basically our life force energy flowing. And this movement of circling our arms is gonna help open up any stagnant tension in our shoulders. And last one, inhale, lift up. This time, hold it here and exhale, circle, big arm circle to the back. So alternating arms, just slow circles, opening up your shoulders. You can keep your arms straight, or if it feels better, you can even bend your arms. That can create a little bit different movement and stretch. And you can twist to the side a little bit. We want that big shoulder stretch. One more each side. Inhale, reach up, like a big morning stretch, like when you're getting out of bed. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Now from here, we're gonna start getting a bit more into our wrist stretching. So take right palm, extend it towards the sky, palm presses the earth, left palm stretches and presses, or see the stretches in the sky on the right, earth on the left, you really wanna Press out from your palms. That's how we're going to get that stretch, is by really pressing and fingertips are rotating in. Using our Mula Bandha breath here. 
Now what you're gonna do is slowly bring your hands, again, pressing out through your palms, you should be feeling it. Hands to center, fingertips both facing up, pressing away with your palms, and exhale. Now fingers, you can spread them out, reach your fingertips towards the earth, and exhale back to center. So again, we're not really focusing on building tons of strength, but that press with your palms is going to activate your muscles a little bit to get you a little bit better stretch instead of just, well, yeah, that's not going to do anything. But if you press, that's going to start activating your muscles and getting that stretch deeper for you. So we'll switch sides. Now left palm is pressing towards the sky, right palm's pressing towards the earth, fingertips are both facing in, really pressing away, trying to pull your arms away from your shoulders and slowly start to rotate them. Now right arm has to rotate fingertips up to the sky, pressing out through your palms, reaching, 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 fingertips can come wide. So you exhale, point them towards the earth, back to center. Whew. If you're pressing, you should be feeling it. You can even shake it out a little, feel that energy moving. And we'll try it one more time on each side. Again, be careful not to lock out your knees when you're doing that. Sometimes when we're focusing our arms, we kind of forget <laughs> about our lower body. So inhale or exhale, find your rhythm here. Palms reaching towards the earth and the sky. Exhale. Bring your hands to center, reaching away from your shoulders. Fingertips can come wide now as you bring them towards the earth, getting a big stretch. Come back to center. And last time now, left palm towards the sky, right palm reaches towards the earth. And slowly start to rotate your palms, moving your arms, coming to center, reaching out, really reaching with your palms. And now fingertips reach long towards the earth and exhale. Whew, very nice. Should be feeling a good stretch again. You can shake it out, get some of that movement, some of that prana and energy that we're building um, moving through your body. Now from here, we'll come to uh, the mat into hands and knees. So from here, strong fingertips onto the mat, strong palms, uh, light on the heel of your hand, don't really want any weight there. And we'll just inhale and exhale and start doing some cat-cow. Starting to get into our shoulders, stretch them out here. Last one. Now you can tuck your toes under if that's going to help give you a little bit more balance or keep your toes flat, whatever is easy. So you're going to inhale, reach your right arm to the sky, exhale, thread it underneath your shoulder, just hovering over the mat. Inhale here, exhale, inhale, lift up, exhale. Now this time as you inhale, Kind of sit back onto your heels for a moment. Reach your left fingertips wide and stretch your right arm over your ear, getting a big side body stretch all the way down the right side. And exhale back to center. Do some more of the cat cows. Getting some of this movement and stretch through our whole spine here. And slight bend in your right arm as left arm extends to the sky this time. Getting a big twist and exhale. Threads under the shoulder, hovering over the mat. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale last time. Exhale. Hold here for a moment. Then as you inhale, come up. You're going to sit back on your heels just a little bit so that you can move your right fingertips off to the right and reach long, coming to a big side body stretch on the left side. Say hello to the curtains. <laughs> and exhale, back to center. We'll do another set of cat-cow. Still 
exhale, using your Mula Bandha breath here, letting your breath control your movement. Inhale, now stay in the arch just a little bit and walk your fingertips back. We're gonna sit on our heels for a second. So you can stay here if that is comfortable. If you want, if it's easier, you can sit on your feet like this. That uh, just depends on how that stretch is feeling for the bottom of your feet. Sitting like this can get intense. So go back and forth, whatever you need. We're gonna do some quick breaths of freedom. So inhale, open your arms up. Exhale, you're gonna a um, little kind of baby cat cow here, but you're gonna give yourself a big hug, right arm on top. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, last time. Exhale, big hug, big hug. Now from here, as instead of just unfolding your arms, bring your arms out in front of you. Now we're like already basically in eagle, in eagle arms. So you can just lock the backs of your hands like this or full wrap in eagle arm. Lift up, mini arch in your back, and exhale. See if you can round and stretch out your shoulders, your upper back. Inhale, lift up, little baby back bend. Exhale. Last time here, inhale up. Exhale. Very nice, now we have two sides, so you'll inhale, open, stretching open your chest again. Exhale, this time left arm on top for your breath of freedom. Give yourself some loving. Last one here. Now again, as you sit just to normal spine and release your shoulders, you're already halfway to eagle arms. So plant either your forearms, that's your forearms together, or wrap wrists. When you do this though, you wanna make sure that you're not like bending your wrists. You do wanna make sure that they're straight. Uh, if that's not accessible, then just keep your forearms together so that your wrists are straight. And inhale, lift up a bit, mini back bend, and exhale. Inhale up, exhale. And last time here. From here, inhale, lift up. Big morning stretch again. And exhale. Wherever you are, come off of your feet. You're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch open your shoulders. Reaching long behind you. And if you want, you can even forward fold that a little bit. And you can play with which fingers you have on top and the back, see if one way feels better than the other. I notice sometimes depending on where I have tension, it helps to, to flip flop which fingers are locked on top. Now wherever you are, you're going to come onto your back, making your way to a bridge prep position. So firmly planting your fingertips, or not your fingertips, your feet into the mat. Fingertips would be weird. And we're going to do some restorative bridge pose just to again move the energy through our arms, through our spine. So you're going to inhale, pressing into the earth with your feet, lifting up your hips, and arms are going to lift overhead. And exhale bringing everything back down to the mat. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Do this a few more times, still using our Mula Bandha breath, even though we're in more of a restorative movement. And inhale, last time here. Nice. Now from here, you can gently windshield wiper your legs. I know we're focusing on our arms today, but releasing any major tension in our legs can also help free up tension in our shoulders. I also like to walk my feet out wide and kind of knock one knee in towards the mat. A little different variation. And the 
course, if you need any additional stretches, feel free to take that here before coming into your final resting pose. Uh, one last thing I want to show you real quick is the magic wrist clear. So if you are on the computer a lot, gaming a lot, um, this can be something you can do at any time. Really, you can do any of those stretches at any time or, you know, just kind of do some circling with the neck, shoulder rolls, that kind of thing, just to keep movement in your neck and your shoulders so you don't get all of that stagnant stiffness. But if you're feeling tension in your wrists, it's really good to do kind of a forearm massage. Um, you can do wrist stretches like we were doing or even just normal wrist stretches you see uh, <laughs> everywhere. But if you massage your forearm and then rotate your wrist and get some traction pulling your wrist kind of away from your forearm, uh, that is a really great way to work out any tension and that traction is going to help uh, kind of get any lockness out of the wrist. So I hope you enjoyed that flow. I hope that your shoulders and arms are, and chest are feeling more open and that way you are ready to go back into uh, whatever you have to do for the rest of the day and hopefully this will help prevent you from going into that hunch slouch you know computer gaming asana that we do for so much of our lives so hopefully this will help you stay open and you're feeling stretched and refreshed i definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat of course again though so make sure you are on uh, this uh, subscribe to the channel so that you do get notifications for the new videos make sure that you are on the leaving nerdy yogis email list so you get the exclusive content i have for you there namaste